What's up everyone? This is the Raw Tree coming back with part two. So like I'm going to reiterate, you have to understand the reason why black women cheat on you so bad and so much is because when you who represent a man, a real man, who's coming with morals, coming with responsibilities and accountabilities, one thing that black women know about men like like you or like me no i'll just say us like us is we're not that experienced in sex because we didn't live our life chasing ass we didn't live our life chasing pussy we didn't live our life as a fucking thug we didn't live our life as the bad boys so because we didn't live our life doing that we are not experienced in having sex because see the experience come from when a man and a woman who are not experienced in sex once they get married they mature sex has to be matured I have to flat out fucking say it. Sex have to be matured. Sex cannot be matured the first day. No, it takes different positions. It takes how it feels. It takes what the understanding the body. And then that woman understands your body. And y'all do things to please each other. And to, to one day, y'all both reach orgasm because you're maturing. It's a process when having sex. You're not a fucking pro as soon as you lay down the first day. Get the fuck out of here. Anybody Anybody saying that you're a goddamn liar and anybody talking about I am I will I'll just delete your fucking comment because you're full of shit as a three dollar bill so sex is a process sex and sex um, it's a process that you have to mature or you have to master and once everybody the man and the husband and the wife master each other then it brings that closeness even more because now y'all can have fun every day if y'all want and so because you are a man and you're not about whorish behavior your woman she is about whore's behavior. And so you laying down with her and, and, and you're married to her and, and, you're, and you're making love or some people call it fucking, you know, getting your groove on and shit. And you think you're doing something good and she's not turned on by it. Be, why? Because she's remembering how the thugs and the bad boys broke their back. She's remembering how experienced that they are. So regardless of what, she's still going to consider your ass, even though married to you, good man now. She's still going to consider your ass lame. So she needs that thug who knows how to hit all the right spots because the bad boys have made it their profession to try to fuck so many women and stuff to have women coming after them where they don't need to even go out on the street to find a woman. There's folks out there who are bad boys that don't even have to fucking go out there and go chase a woman. They can walk down the street and hear here comes a black woman like my boy reluctant Nobby said and I'm gonna ask this question can anybody tell me or show me any any man who is a bad boy who is fucking single then show me good men who are single then you wonder why I say the shit that I say you wonder why I'm so fucking a a angry and shit and it's not because I ain't getting any pussy. It's when I finally get a black woman that she's going to be ran through like crazy. Yeah, I, you know, what's the mental capacity of that black woman? Because you have to understand, bad boys, I'm fucking talking to your dumb ass. You have to understand, you don't deal with the black woman once we get them. When we get them, we have to deal with their scarred mentality. We have to deal with their fucked up attitude because they have so many men's DNA in them, their body is destroyed. 
So black men are getting angry, not because they ain't getting any pussy. They're getting angry because the more we hear stupid ass comments, oh, just wait, God will send one to you. Well, the devil believes in kill, steal, and destroy, so the devil can steal one from you. The devil can bring somebody into your life, uh, and you think it's God. Uh-oh. But the good man is always being taught to wait. But how come the thugs, the bad boys, are never taught to wait? They don't have to wait. There's folks who don't care if a woman who is so gorgeous leave them because they know they got 10 or 15 other in the streets. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. Well, y'all have to have the same uh, confidence as the thug. The thug ain't got confidence like that. The thug and the bad boys know that they can get y'all because that's what y'all want. Because see, have y'all said, well, we want good men. That would mean that the thugs will lose their confidence, so it will force them to change. I mean, come on, common sense and logic. Whatever you feed and sit at the table, the other table's going to starve. And I'm sick and tired of seeing good men starve. And then, then when the men, when the good men or men who are decent, who stepping up to the plate, which you fucking don't care about black women, they're being told, you just mad because you ain't getting any pussy. If that's your only fucking comeback, then you need to really look in the mirror. And look, look at yourself and wonder where the fuck you stand in the nation. Because as far as I see and the comments that I read, it's comical, it's entertainment, but it's also fucking sad. It's very, 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 very sad that the men who are virgins are demonized, that once they get black woman, black woman still not going to be satisfied because he's not sexually experienced, not understanding that sexual experience come from man and a uh, husband and a wife laying down and perfecting sex in harmony with one another. We have redefined words. We have redefined everything doggone thing in our community that now when folks are starting to bring things back and restore things back to natural all of a sudden that seems so abnormal and so crazy even though that is the solution to our community like I always say when I speak I'm not only speaking about the problem because anybody speaks about the problem, look at your dumbass, satanic, coons, buffoons, Al Sharpton, or Jesse Jackson. Look at them. They only speak about the problems like your dumbass, boule, satanic, uh, dumbass, Cornell West, and Tavis Malley in them. Yeah, they know how to speak about the problem real good. But have you ever heard any fucking solution from them? Well, the raw truth gives solutions, but it's solutions that the raw truth that is given. Mm, the vast majority of y'all won't like it because it means that niggas got to stop being damn thirsty. Women got to clo close their fucking legs. Men have to learn to be uh, act like men the way men should act. And so does women have to learn how to be women. Accountability is strong. Responsibility is strong. And complimenting the opposite of what you've been complimenting all your life, then all of a sudden you will find yourself not popular. Uh oh. You will find yourself an oddball. You will find yourself well, people are after you. And then you will think to yourself, dang, this is what raw truth and men like raw truth is going through. Damn, I can't take this isolation. Why Why doesn't people want to hang with me? What is it about me when it has absolutely nothing to do with you? It's because when you're or walking with accountability and responsibility and you're walking with some morals and... Uh, uh, some morals and a code of conduct and you're being an asset to your community instead of a liability the, ma the vast majority of people will hate you because see they make slick disses to you because they want they wish that they were like you but they can't be like you why because they're so into popularity they're so into popularity. They don't want to lose the, the delusional uh, spotlight that they think that they in. But they coming at you 
real men. They're coming at you because you are in the spotlight. They wish that they can go through life with maybe three or four people liking them. <laughs> And the rest of them saying, hey, and think about it. Anybody making that comment, you already know that they are a liability to our community anyway. Just mad because you ain't getting any pussy. Or you haven't had pussy since pussy had you. Like, that's something to cap on somebody about. I applaud anybody, even, even black women. You ain't have dick since a dick made you. I applaud you. I'm uplifting the right in my community, but the wrong, you know, I'm going to go hard on it. Call me Porky the Pig. I believe, believe, believe that's all, folks, because I'm going to go ham on it. And, and, and talking shit and pulling out the fuckery in our community is uplifting people who are great. Why? Because the people that aren't doing this and the black woman and the black men who aren't doing this will see it and like, yeah, uh, I'm glad he's saying that because, you know, I don't deal with ma majority of black women because they like this. But I say this to y'all women who don't do that, just call them out and make sure you get away because they're going to attack you because they're really fucking violent. So you have to understand when people make comments to you and slick disses to you, Read in between the lines and make that compliment you. Make that compliment you. I said before uh, on my show, uh, one of my videos, the raw truth uh, addresses uh, mu uh, mucus trolls. All of my videos, and the one thing folks is aiming on and felt need to leave a comment is they think that I have a mucus problem. Never mind me talking about the satanic industry or how to protect yourself from it. Never mind talking about the things we need to understand about the sports industry and stop wasting our money on them. Never mind about all the people who are crying out and like Shaka Khan crying out because she wants to get out of a situation she brought she brought herself in. Never mind that. Never mind that the, all the pro-black movements have been fucking infiltrated by the name of Polite, Serenetta, Tariq Nasheed, Umar Johnson. Never mind, never mind all of that. Oh, let's just talk about his mucus and, 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 tell, and say to him that his mucus problem, you know, it irritates me. But let me ask you something, you dumb motherfuckers. The out of control, uh, unplanned parenting, doesn't that irritate you? That should. Black women spreading their legs to bad men instead of being married to good men. Should not irritate you? The fuckery in our community should not irritate you? Funny. Wow. Now I'm going to keep saying it too. Let you know how stupid and dumb motherfuckers that y'all are. But see, one thing about the raw truth, <laughs> and everybody wants, to, you have to understand, when the raw truth is being attacked like that, and folks make slick disses like that. You just exposed you. And you know what you exposed? That I hit home. And so you threw fire at me. But see, the words that I speak is fire. And my fire and your fire, the fire that I have, makes me walk through your fire. So you can't do shit to the raw truth. I will walk through any fire. I will bow because I'm bred it that way. I'm a new, I'm, I'm a different breed of men that you ever seen. Yeah, I went against the Crips. I went against the blood. Everybody talk about what you do, what you do raw truth for the community. I call the fucking gangs out. I was, a, I used to uh, street teach on the fucking street.
and I called the fucking gangs out as they walked by. I called white supremacy out as they walked by. I called people, as a matter of fact, Pro-blacks and Muslims were the ones who have gave me over 150 death threats. And they all knew where I live. All they had to do was follow me in my own fucking neighborhood. Every day I put my life on the fucking line. So don't give me that shit. Oh, what the fuck you doing for our community? Oh, you just on YouTube. What are you doing? You don't know what the fuck raw truth did. And each and every single time that uh, the motherfuckers threatened me and want to end my life, want to shoot me in the head, execute me and everything else and hope that I die. They wanted to hang me and all that kind of shit. I still kept doing it. I still kept doing it. You know why? Because I'm saying that, hey, I will die for speaking the raw truth. Let me ask you something. Where's your pro-black leaders to do that? Can't you see? That's why your slick disses don't fucking affect me. That's why I laugh at y'all when I'm commenting and I'm rebuking y'all sharply. I laugh at y'all. Why do I laugh at y'all? Because you don't know the fucking wars I've already been in and won. You don't know the fucking wars. This is war in our community. This is separating the men from the the men from the boys and the women from the girls. And that's what my channel is designed to do. I love it. So the next time you motherfuckers sit up there and talking about, well, he just mad because he ain't getting any pussy or no woman wants you. No, that's stupid in itself. No woman wants you. Well, wait a minute. No female wants me. Women will. The problem is there ain't too many in the United States of America. And let's just say if I get a woman in the United States of America, it's not going to change a damn thing. You know why? Because I'm worried about my brothers. Unlike y'all uh, selfish motherfuckers who only worry about your goddamn self, I actually worry about my community. Whatever happens to we are one in our community. Whatever affects one and affects us all. For some reason, that's dead. Because as long as you are selfish with a fucked up attitude, making slick disses, making comments like the comments that I, that I read from different motherfuckers on several videos, not only mine, but a majority of the videos that I went, went, went to of other people's channels, as long as you're making the slick disses, you're selfish, you have a fucked up attitude, a fucked up mind, and cannot accept correction, cannot accept criticism, uh, no accountability and no responsibility as long as you have that you will never ever 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 grow to be one with no community because a community is governed by laws and if you can't stand the laws like the kitchen if you can't stand the heat get the fuck out the kitchen well get the fuck out of my community shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of my community and all you men out there who's doing your best to be men, keep striving. Don't let none of these dumbass whores, black bitches, and these no good simp niggas, scum of the earth bastards, turn you away from you being you. Because, see, they want to be bad. They need to be bad because they're the ones with insecurities. Because if they really cared about you being secure, then they wouldn't make slick disses to make sure to bring you out of being secure. Let me know how you feel. No, just an idea that came to my head. Felt compelled to make this show. But more and more and more shows is going to be coming. I still got more ideas. But let me know how you feel. Till then, send your hate message. Like, share my videos. I noticed that uh, sus more subscribers is coming on. That's good in a way, and the reason why that's good in a way, because, you know, I may have over 830-something subscribers right now, 
But out of that 830 subscribers, wonder how many are really, really serious about my com about my community. Even those who are of another nation, who are not of my nation, that are subscribed. I wonder how many of them give a damn about my community coming back and being great people. I wonder how many of them. Because pretty soon, it's going to weed them out. It's going to weed them out. You don't have a choice in this. I'm going to bring fire from all areas. And you know what's funny? One of my subscribers, Chastity Prejean, sent me a story about a white man that I did. You know, the, the, the Stanford rapist. Yeah. So I know she's serious about the black community. And guess what? She raised a black boy. Ah! And I know that black boy who became a man loved his, loved his mother. <laughs> yeah, y'all gonna get mad. But there you have it. You want to get mad? Do something about it and change your fucking ways. Till then, I'm the raw truth. Peace.